Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. Have you ever seen that uh, show on TV called uh, Naked and Afraid? Well, if you have, you'll know it doesn't have to do too much with sexy bodies running around. It has to do with, even though they're naked, it has to do with can they get along together because they're trying to survive in the most difficult environments, sometimes in the middle of swamps and in woods. It's just really challenging. And so what you quickly find out is it's really about how kind of tough they are. And not only tough, but can they communicate and work together um, to uh, try to survive for, I think it's 21 days or 14 days. And if you've seen that show, have you seen some of the survival skills that they try to use? So they'll have a bow drill. They may have a bow drill uh, to make fire. Now you're hoping they have a flint that it's easier to start it, but sometimes people want to use a bow drill uh, to be very uh, authentic about it. So they'll use a, a cord or a string and they'll wrap it around a stick or a piece of wood with a, 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 a piece of stick uh, uh, turned to make a bow so that, it's, so that it's spinning the piece of wood. And at the bottom, there's a little indentation. And if either two people, it can be one person, but very often it can be two people trying to use this bow drill to spin this wood just fast and hard enough to make a little, just a little hot ember at the bottom from the friction. If they're able to do it, it is quite an accomplishment because everything has to be just right, dry, the effort has to, spinning has to be really fast and, and hard on this. But if they go too fast, it'll break. If they don't go fast enough, it doesn't create the heat to create the ember. So it's really quite something to watch. It's a lot like anything you do in life, it seems, right? If you're trying to work on a project or two, and maybe that's the way to do it, focus on maybe just one or possibly two big things. And then it takes everything you can to focus on that project. Uh, let's say, for example, you wanted to create a, an ATP testing program for your company. Well, you need to identify which piece of equipment to use, how does it work, how to train your managers and supervisors to use it, what will be the schedule for training for, for checking the buildings. When we're measuring this cleaning effectiveness with an ATP meter, and we learn certain insights about what buildings or what areas need to be uh, need to be worked on, we're not doing very well. Well, then we need to talk about are we going to redirect cleaning hours or supervisors? It takes a lot to make that happen. It has to be very focused. Now, if we don't work hard enough, nothing gets done, just like the Bodro. If you go too fast and you don't communicate enough, people can get upset or burned out and quit. So it's not about overdoing. It's about finding that right amount of communication with good effort, steady effort, and good communication and sticking with it. That's what gets the project done. That's what gets the ember from the bow drill done. Now, they're not exactly the same, but there's some lessons in both of these things. There must be some just natural laws of this that take hold that apply to so many things we do. And a lot of it has to do with staying focused, focused effort, not too little or going overboard, but that concentrated effort really is something that can get great results, like the bow drill. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.